Hello guys, uh, this is Piri and uh, welcome to another tutorial on Heroes and Generals. Uh, this time uh, we're going to do a, kind of a short tutorial on um, on the RTS side again. So um, I have the first three tutorials which uh, covered uh, the character, the assault teams and the campaign map. Uh, but there were a couple of things that we did not um, did not do and um, we're going to focus uh, on that today. Uh, and I'm going to try and teach you guys how to, um, first of all, uh, buy a new character and uh, then later uh, upgrade your assault teams. So uh, with no further ado, uh, let's start this uh, this tutorial. Okay, so uh, let's do this. Let's start with um, buying and creating a new um, hero for you. So as you can see here, and this has not changed much except for maybe the levels uh, from last time I made the tutorial on the art on the RTS. Uh, I still only have the two characters, so my first one and a second one that I bought, it is a tank crew. And uh, now I'm going to show you how to, um, if by example you only have one, how to do, how do you purchase a new hero and uh, what you have to do um, to make it so. So basically one of the most important things is that you're going to have uh, to have some uh, stored credits. So as you can see, I've been storing some credits for the past, like, maybe a week and a half. So I have quite a lot for the tutorial. So I can explain to you guys how to do it. So second step, after you have the money for it, what you got to do is basically come here to this right side. And here, click to enlist soldier, buy a slot. You need, first of all, to buy a slot to be able to purchase a new hero. So let's do that. Let's, uh, let's buy a slot. You click here, yeah, okay, I got the money for it, and okay, and uh, we have a new um, slot for a new soldier. Now, basically what you got to do is create a new soldier, and you're going to have to purchase a new class. So basically what you have is infantry, which is basically the one that you start in the beginning, then you got paratrooper, fighter pilot, anti-armor, machine gunner, recon, which is the sniper. Everyone always wants to know what, what, what's the sniper class and the tank crew. So I have already an infantry and uh, everyone has an infantry when it starts and I have the tank crew and I've been thinking about which to buy next. I know people flying planes have a lot of fun um, people on recon also say it's uh, pretty good to play with, but um, I know that the availability of ATs um, in which you can spawn as a recon is not that much in game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose one of the uh, of the classes that I think will improve my gameplay and um, in a way that I think I can be helpful to my team. So the class that I'm going to buy now is the paratrooper. So for this, so so uh, what you got to do is to to have the paratrooper, you got to pay this amount here, and you got to name it. So basically, um, let's see, what what name should I put in my paratrooper? Uh, I don't know. Why not gobbles? Yeah, let's let's put it. Let's see if we can put the dude jumping from airplanes. So gobbles. The Minister of Propaganda. So, and now, enlist. 46300, yeah, okay. And here we are. We got ourselves a new character. And this is basically what you got to do. And as you see, it starts in level 0. It's basically what you got to do to purchase a new class. So now I have our infantry tank crew. And I got Mr. Gobbles uh, jumping from airplanes. It's only fitting, right? Propaganda coming from planes. So um, here we are. Uh, so just just for uh, so that we can see, let me let me check what weapons this uh, this uh, paratrooper can have. So it starts with K98 and K98, K98. Get more. Uh, you can have the the MP40, but that's when it reached level six. So until it reached level six, it can only carry the the carabiner. Okay, that's good enough. That's good enough. 
Okay, so um, the next part on this uh, kind of small tutorial is uh, how to upgrade your ATs. So, as I already explained in the previous tutorial, uh, your ATs are basically the units that you have moving around on the campaign map. Uh, you can purchase all sorts of ATs uh, from infantry to guards that are a small um, group of infantry. Uh, light armor, fighter squadron. We we went over this in a in a in a, um, in a tutorial that I already done. So uh, today, what we're going to do is basically upgrade them. So what what do you need to upgrade uh, an AT unit uh, after you purchased it? So basically, again, you're going to need some more credits, and after that, which what your AT is going to have to have is some experience, some battle experience, and that battle experience is. Uh, shown to you by this little stars um, on the left side of the AT. So currently all mine and I have um, all the ones I can have uh, before I start spending some gold. So I have all my ATs at level 3 currently. So what I want to do is when I started building my army I had a, an objective uh, in mind. Basically I wanted um, uh, a good army that could help the war and uh, basically that was, um, I don't know, but uh, something that people could use more often on the battlefield. Instead of uh, choosing an uh, anti-tank uh, unit or... Because those, you always have like um, a Panzerfaust in the map to pick it up. So th that doesn't have that much utility. Or a sniper because people, even though they like playing with snipers, but... The AT has such a small number of troops that, I don't know, it, it doesn't feel like it, it helps too much the battle. So what I did was basically uh, have four infantry squads, uh, which you see here, like number one, two, three and four. Then I thought about having some tank power uh, and I'm going to upgrade them as well. And then I thought about paratroopers, so two, uh, as you can see, Fashmiega here, squad one and squad two to try and, and para-block some, uh, some towns, so to make the progression of my army and the armies of my uh, fellow colleagues uh, a bit better. So that was my main objective, was to have a good, uh, diverse army that could help the battle. So with no further ado, let's start the upgrades. So I have what I need, I have the money, I have the experience, let's do an upgrade. Uh, let's see. Let's do this uh, Falschmjäga squad uh, one. I don't know if I can upgrade squads uh, without having the full amount of men in them, but uh, let's try. Um, you're always learning as well. So uh, to upgrade this squad, what you got to do is come here to the bottom, and you see the amount of money you got to pay for the upgrade, and we're gonna upgrade it once. So uh, here we go. When upgrading a cell team, it will return to your capital. Do you confirm? Yes, sir. I do. And there we go. We have completely and successfully done an upgrade on a unit. So as you see, it is still... I didn't know that. I thought they would lose the experience and then you would have to win them, win it again. But apparently they retained the experience they had. And uh, as you see, my first uh, squad, Falschmjäger, is now a motorized squad. So if we come here, it is currently in this stage. So it has 64 men. Right, and it has 24 terrain vehicles. But the goal for this squad is not being a motorized infantry. The goal for it is to being a paratrooper. So we need to upgrade it again. So we go back, get the squad, and upgrade it. You come here, and now you have two options. You can either upgrade it to mechanized infantry, which is basically the the half track, or oh. It jumped away for some reason, or you can upgrade it to paratrooper. This is what we want. It's quite expensive, but let's do it. Upgrade. Yeah, 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 yeah. Indeed. And here we are. We have successfully upgraded a squad to the final tier, which is uh, the Falschmjäger. I already had the name on them. Uh, it's going to be one of the two uh, squads I have. Um, that are that will be paratroopers. So basically, 
uh, instead of moving, but I will do that on another tutorial, instead of moving like a normal squad moves on the ground, these dudes will start moving from airports, uh, uh, from airfields to airfields, and uh, then deploying on enemy um, um, towns um, behind enemy lines, so you can start doing some damage, blocking some troops, etc., etc. So that is basically how how you upgrade a unit. Uh, I don't think I have much more to talk about this. I think it's uh, pretty much self-explanatory. I, I can do another one. Uh, I have no problem with that. So uh, basically, uh, let's see, let's see what we're gonna do. I don't want to upgrade the tank straight away because I'm doing tutorials about Panzer One. So let's upgrade uh, Volksgrenadier Squad One into a motorized infantry. So it is the same step basically what you gotta do is come down here once again click the upgrade button click confirm and there you go as you see it has changed to motorized so uh, that is it that is it for the for this uh, for this small tutorial uh, the two things we talked about were basically purchasing a new character and uh, you can purchase which one you prefer uh, it also depends on your um, on your uh, how you how you play the game your play style um, and uh, and then we talked about how to upgrade um, our ATs uh, and make them more uh, versatile on the battlefield and that is it uh, this is Piri and uh, I hope you enjoy this little tutorial and uh, I see you guys on the battlefield <laughs>